Hey everyone, I want to share with you how to use Google Jamboard in remote learning. What is a Jamboard, by the way? It's simply an interactive whiteboard. So it's like a regular board, but you use in distance learning or remote learning. To open it, you go to your Google Drive and open Google Jamboard or go to your Gmail, Google Apps and open the extension for Jamboard. This is the icon for Jamboard. So what are the things that you can do with this? You can write on it. So you, you, you go to this um, options here. You can use a pen, a marker, highlighter, or brush, and then you can change the colors. You can also erase it. And the arrow here is used for navigation or it's a mouse. Here's for the sticky note. This is for adding image. For adding image, you can upload from your device. You can also go to image search. You can use your Google Drive um, archive stuff. And also, if you have your own photos, you can use them. And this is for laser pointer, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate you what are the other stuff that you can do with this. There are many ways to change the background. You can either use dots, okay? rules, graph, squares okay that's a squares graph you can change the background to blue or a blackboard or none okay all right you can also clear the frame so if you want to add an image for example i added this one of certain topic that you like. For example, you want um, a picture of planets. You can just type in search bar. And since this is a Google app, so most of these images here are free. And then you can just like click that and select it. And you can adjust. Okay, here you go. Example, you don't like it, you can delete it. Okay, what are the other things that you can do with the sticky note or the image that you that you use here? Okay, you can aside from edit, you can duplicate. You can also change color of the background of your sticky note and if you don't like it you can delete it okay you can also rotate the image according to the orientation that you like and then you can resize it you can also use undo button there Okay, the good thing about this is it's very interactive, shareable, and collaborative. I have here some suggestions on how to use this Google Jamboard in your teaching. This is also um, some of my pointers why I like to use Jamboard. It follows the five C's of education. It's just for communication, of course. It's, it encourages critical thinking with students and then of course for creativity they can collaborate and you can actually curate there are the other options that you can do you can rename okay you can rename your google jamboard your jam you can download this as pdf 
So if you have um, students that don't have gadgets, you can print whatever you have in the interactive Jamboard as PDF and give it to those students that uh, need it. And then you can also save frame as image. And of course, you can trash it or remove it. You can make a copy. And there are lots of uh, updates that you can uh, be abreast with. And of course, if you have some suggestion, you can send feedback. Okay? And it's shareable. One example of activity or a strategy of for distance learning or remote learning that I can share with you is graphing. For example, in physics, um, I want my students to graph so I can just use, change the background from none to squares or graph, and then here they can write their answer, okay? During Google Meet, they, they can allow one or two students to, to participate and uh, write their answer here or plot the graph. Okay, so that's for graphing. You have already background for it. Another one is like during reinforcement activity, you can insert a diagram. For example, I inserted here a diagram of a uh, rock cycle. And you can use the laser pointer in explaining the transformations of one rock to another and the processes that's involved during the transformation. So you can, you can just use this as like an exit ticket or a wrap up of concept for a particular unit by just inserting image, a diagram, or a graphic organizer. So that's another strategy. And then you can also use the so-called drag and drop. For example, I want my students to name this uh, polyatomic ion using the chemical formula by dragging these names to match with the chemical formula here. Say for example, SO42 minus. See the answer is sulfate. Okay. You can just let them drag it during Google Meet or as an assignment that you posted in Google Classroom. Nitrate, click that and drag it there. And you have phosphate, and of course you have acetate, and that's for ammonium. So it's very interactive and easy. In elementary, they, they will love this because it's kind of like matching type. Matching a picture, word, vocabulary words, and description, and so on. So you can be creative depending on what you need for your class. Okay. And of course, you can use uh, lots of templates. You can let them make graphic organizer, thinking maps, or concept maps. So be creative, and it's, it's just available online, and it's easy to use here. And also, if you have already like notes that you prepared previously in your PowerPoints, you can screenshot them, take a picture of them, and then put it in Google Drive, and you can just add them as notes. So you can have jam notes. For example, I get an image of an atomical direction or orientation that I want my students to have. I can just print this out for those who don't have gadgets, or I can simply use this um, for teaching. Don't need to write all of this or draw. So in social studies, for example, in Philippine curriculum, if you're teaching third grade uh, regions of the Philippines, you don't need to write all of this. You just you can just take a picture of it or screenshot your old notes and put it here. So it's locked and students cannot modify this. They can just use this as a resource material. So basically, jam notes as jam notes, okay? Also, if you want uh, them to have like short answer and write the answers here, for example, you can just change the background into a uh, rule. So that's what I used. And then they can use this pen to answer the question. You can also use the Jamboard for reviewing questions, say you're preparing for final exam or state test or achievement test, and you can insert an uh, image 
or a diagram and then the question itself. So for example, this question, which structure can form as a result of a divergent plate boundary, okay? So is it A, B, C, or D? And then you can talk about it. And using the marker, the student can actually answer this one. So is it A, B, C, or D? For example, the answer is letter C. They can just encircle it. Or if you don't like it, you can tell them, tell the students to highlight, okay, using a highlighter. Highlight the correct answer. For example, the answer is letter C. There you go. So it's very interactive. Okay, aside from that, you can also uh, insert your emojis or emojis just, you know, to personalize your presentation, make it a little bit cooler for them. And they, li they love it. And of course, the best thing about this is you can share this in Google Classroom because it's it's part of Google, it's a Google app, so it's very manageable in Google Classroom. And the last but not the least, of course, during Google Meet, this is your whiteboard where students can interact, collaborate, and share. So you have all the you have all the choices of activities that you want to integrate using Jamboard and hope you learn something from my sharing. Thank you.